in the uh, tradition of Persian carpets, I understand if, if you're a master weaver, uh, you have to put a mistake in the carpet because it's hubris to not have one. And so this is the mistake in the service today. We forgot to print the gospel lesson. This was a story about Jesus saying that uh, in his father's house there are many rooms and that Jesus goes before us to prepare a place for us. Jesus has gone ahead to prepare a place for joy and is preparing a place for you and me as well. This is a, a big privilege for me to uh, get to say a few words in remembrance of Joy Finley and a few words uh, proclaiming the resurrection. Joy was uh, already old when I met her. She was already into her 80s and uh, she embraced being old. Uh, whenever we spoke in the phone, and we spoke in the phone fairly often, I would ask Joy how she was doing, and many of you will know her reply. What was it? Not bad for a little old lady. That was, that was her response every time. Uh, it was, I reckon, Joy's version of those words from Tennyson's Ulysses. Uh, Tennyson, writing of the final years of life, says, though much is taken, much abides. And though we are not now that strength which in old days moved earth and heaven, that which we are, we are. In other words, not bad for a little old lady. Joy knew that she was uh, not doing bad because she had seen what uh, bad could look like. Uh, back at the start of her 60s, her doctors told her that she would not live to be 65, that the breast cancer was going to take her. Uh, and then she did live to be 65, and then 75, and then 85, and then 90, and finally 91. So 36 years more than the doctor said she would get and Joy recognized that for what it was, a gift. Uh, she had dodged death on other occasions as well. Uh, Joe Bronson, who sadly can't be here, Joy is on her way to the Holy Land even as we speak. Uh, Joe Bronson tells the story of being on pilgrimage with Joy and others from Grace Memorial in England, uh, and Joy is wearing this shawl which is, you know, very suitable for the English weather, but also uh, sort of like a, like a horse's blinders, limits your peripheral vision quite significantly. And Joe tells the story of Joy getting off of a bus, <laughs> wearing the, uh, the shawl and starting to cross the road, not noticing that another bus was coming directly for her. And so the other bus driver slams on the brakes and by inches, avoids running down a Joy Finley. And Joy recognized the years that she got after that for what they were. They were a gift. Uh, and Joy had buried so, so many people whom she loved. Her parents, a husband, and terribly a daughter were not supposed to go to her own kids' funerals. Uh, and she recognized getting old to be, uh, to be a gift when a lot of other people don't get to be old. Now, Joy knew that the gift that was getting old wasn't free, uh, that it came with hard stuff. Her body failed her in the end. And to bury all of those people is to sign up for a deep, deep apprenticeship with grief. Uh, she was often sad when I talked to her. She spoke of being lonely, of being depressed. And it was clear that she was sitting with a lot of hard memories. Uh, some of them of her childhood, some from her marriage, some from other places. There was a lot of pain she was carrying. When we're kids and we skin our knees, uh, there's sometimes a moment when we switch back and forth from tears to laughter to tears to laughter. You're kind of, you're doing that kind of gulping breathing and you're never exactly sure what's going to come next. And maybe what I'm saying about joy is that, um, as a grown-up, she returned to that place in a different way. Uh, she endured all these hard things. She saw the gift in them. 
here is this intersection of sadness and delight. Within her aged body and her loneliness and her hard memories, there was also her namesake. There was also joy, not separate from these things, not in spite of these things, but right in the middle of these things. There was a holy playfulness to Joy Finley. Uh, I, one time when we were talking, I called her mischievous and she lit up. And uh, apparently it was about as big a compliment as you could give to Joy Finley. Uh, often when we spoke thereafter, she would say, I'm a little mischievous. Indeed, uh, indeed she was. In Paul's letter to the young church in Rome, Paul tells the church, Paul tells you and me how to be like Jesus. Don't lag in zeal, be ardent in the spirit, serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, and joy did. Be patient in suffering, and joy was. Persevere in prayer, and joy did. Contribute to the needs of the saints, extend hospitality to strangers, and joy did. Uh, remember her setting out silverware at the Friday feast, even very late in her life. At the end of her life, the cancer came back uh, moving fast. Maybe there was some heroic and painful treatment that Joy could have chosen, but she didn't. She went home to be with her beloved cat, Dolly. And then one night when the house was asleep, Joy slipped away, mischievous. Rika, her caregiver who loved Joy, Rika loved Joy, uh, much as you and I love Joy, said that when she found Joy unbreathing, her heart stopped. Dolly remained in her arms and she was smiling. I imagine uh, she was smiling because she was home. She'd gotten, she was smiling because she'd gotten 36 years more than the doctors were willing to give her, because Dolly was with her, because she had loved so, so many people, including you. Because as she looked around uh, that night, she saw many of the people whom she loved and who had died before her waiting to take her home and that standing among them was Jesus. Resurrection is a thing that happened to Jesus long ago. It's a thing that is happening to joy now. And it's a thing that you and I are invited to participate in always. If you love joy, participate in resurrection by carrying on her work. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in the spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Be mischievous. That is what Joy Finley did. Not bad for a little old lady.